Hey folks, how are you doing? Got a couple of new things. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, got the more of that pegboard, so it's getting a little more organized. Fixed blade on that part, that side. Folders will be here. And uh, spider cores, my customs, hawks will be there, and axes and stuff like that. So that's getting a little organized. That's just to show you something nice to look at. And uh, now the finally, not finally, yeah. I got a little time today, so I finished my Spartan. I cleaned it up, finished off the handle the way it's supposed to be. Real nice, and uh, check it out, guys. Now it came out really pretty. Cleaned up the grind on the edge. Really, really nice satin grind, satin finish. It's magi, but it's. It's almost like a mirror polish, but it's it's satin. It's it's a really nice mix of it. Like it's not it's not mirror polish with those occasional grind lines, but you see that there you see that mirror there. So it's really liking this finish. Uh, razor sharp, of course, and finish of that handle, that Osaka orange, which is really gorgeous wood. I don't know why I love it so much. It just fits there. I put up put in the liners for it, orange liners. I thought they just suit it really nice. And uh, did that little little like a knob on the end. You can see it there. That's to you know uh, kinda like a fix that little thing that I said that I wish actually you didn't say that you didn't hear it that it's on the video that I didn't upload it. I wish I did the handle a little wider on the end, like make it a little like a bulk, like a bulb on the end to secure the hand a little more when you're chopping and not to rely only on the linear. I mean it's very comfortable. It is no fatigue or anything, but you have to with the with the front, you know, front heavy blade, you relying I'm relying on the linear a lot. Which is can not bad, but it, it could be a little better if the, if it got a little wider on the, on the end. So I kind of corrected it with that little bulb here. Very comfortable very pretty wood the camera doesn't do it justice it's nice on the sun this is that natural I mean the artificial light here and uh, doesn't really do it justice it's really pretty if you look at it from one angle the grain is like dark really dark but if you turn it it's gold and really shines really pretty pretty wood it's not the strongest wood, I actually ended up cracking one. I had to do one scale completely over. So it's not the strongest wood. Uh, maybe it's because how I have the grain, you see I have the grain this way. Maybe that's also the reason. So when I tighten the screw it cracked it. But uh, you see the, over the weekend all that heavy use it held up. So might have been just you know bad luck. I did that end like this. You can see little kind of like a hammer like this I like it completely rounded off it's almost complete like a round kind of like a broom handle you know or a hog handle it's very comfortable in the hand didn't do didn't go for my pattern I've noticed that that pattern without the gloves it actually can get annoying on these big big blades it you can feel it because when you're chopping all the chuck goes all the shock goes through the handle and the pattern will bring it up without the gloves. With the gloves, I didn't didn't bother me like on the uh, Persian. Per my Persian has pattern on it, so without the gloves, I could definitely feel it. With the gloves, I felt okay, and uh, I just decided to do this nice, simple handle. But it, I think it goes well with the knife. Just nice. I like it. It's really my favorite knife I made so far. Definitely, absolutely love it. I was thinking about selling one of the either Spartan and 3V or this S35VN, but I just love it so much that I'll probably just keep it. I absolutely love it. Clean up that spine. Spine is nice and rounded. You know, this is not a knife that I would be striking a fair rod on it. So I just went for the nice rounded off finish that came out sweet and uh, very, very happy with it. Very happy with how it performs. Very happy with how it looks. So, hope you enjoyed it guys, thank you for watching, take care, oh, sorry, one more thing, I forgot, 
talking about the Spyderco. Got the package today. Did the sweet trade with my good friend Muddy Desire, Buddy Muddy. And I got myself a Spyderco Dodo, the limited run in the orange. Again, that, that light doesn't do it justice. That orange is just such a gorgeous, vibrant orange. Really doesn't do it justice, this light. I don't know why is that. It's just beautiful, beautiful, vibrant orange. Just funky little knife. I, I got into it, you know, I don't know. I just seeing that he, off, he offered it for sale or trade, I contacted him right away and uh, it's just beautiful knife. Very, very interesting. So, thanks buddy. Really appreciate the hookup and uh, I hope you're gonna like your part of the deal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you will. He's getting... That's gonna be a surprise. So thank you for watching guys. Take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.